Welcome to my channel Wheel of Fortune Mystic Tarot. I am your mermaid Mia and in today's reading we will find out what makes you attractive and alluring to others. So get into the spirit with me and let's channel your inner siren to see how your unique inner and outer beauty makes a sailor crash their ship and your peers look like shrimp. Hi again my lovely friends, I really hope you enjoyed seeing me as a mermaid in the intro. So today's reading is obviously mermaid themed. We will be channeling your inner siren to find out what it is that makes you attractive and alluring to others. So as you can see here you have these three groups to choose from for group number one we have card number 13 and it says the return of aphrodite on it and with it you have a jade heart crystal for group number two we have card number seven and a gorgeous red freedom mermaid with this cherry quartz heart and for group number three, we have card number 17, and it says, um, farewell to the moon, this lovely blue uh, mermaid here, and a blue goldstone heart. All you need to do now, as always, is to focus your attention on today's topic. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, pause the video if you have to, and when you think you're ready, then just see which one of these three groups calls your attention the most. Do not overthink it. Let your intuition decide. And then you can have a look in the description box down below where you find the timestamps for each individual group. So I will see you there. Welcome to your reading, everyone who resonated with group number one. This lovely jade crystal heart and um, the Aphrodite mermaid here. So we will find out what makes you so attractive and alluring to others. If you enjoyed my intro, comment a mermaid emoji down below. I'd love to share more of myself as a mermaid, but only if you guys want to. Um, I'm obsessed with mermaids. I love them. To me, they are so magical, so enchanting and so sensual. And this is exactly the energy you give off as well if you felt drawn to this card. This reminds me of the Empress in the Major Arcana. Um, so you are someone who is very in the divine feminine energy. So of course, beauty um, and creation, you know, female creativity and birth. It could be that you are a mother um, or that you want to be a mother. If, um, if you're not, then you just love to create and give birth to something that is close to your heart. Maybe you feel very artistic, um, you know, you love to make art or maybe you're into poetry or music, you know, anything sensual, creative, emotional, feminine, um, you know, that is what you give off and that's what makes you so attractive to others, so alluring. Um, also here, um, we have number 13 on it, which is the death card in the Major Arcana. And um, you might not realize this, but something wonderful that you have about you is that you're someone who can build people up after they, um, you know, had a fall. Um, when something failed or when they're just feeling down and low and uh, depressed, you can help them feel much better. You can help them see the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, that is something wonderful to have. Uh, you are also someone who is incredibly uh, connected to um, your heart space, to your subconscious, and you can really bring to the surface a lot of happiness. We have these two dolphins here under the surface, um, and we have a dove above the surface. You guys, you are very in tune with um, 
your water and air elements and that combination is just so attractive to other people because you are both very very um, as i've been saying like loving and emotional and sensitive but you are also kind of um smart and um you love to communicate you have a bright wide horizon you know um so you're someone who makes other people very very happy and uh, again you are probably very beautiful on the outside but also on the inside where it truly matters so this is absolutely wonderful now let's get some more of these wonderful mermaid oracle cards i love mermaids so much i love them so so much i'm so excited for um this reading i'm looking for a beautiful mermaid tarot deck if you see one somewhere please let me know i have not seen a beautiful one yet so i'll be using my oracle cards and if you'd like to send in crystals or um, other decks i have an amazon and an etsy wishlist link down below let's see wow I hadn't asked the question yet and I was going to say something about her holding that key, a golden key in her hand. If you haven't already, watch the very first reading I did on this channel, which is how to unlock your psychic gifts or abilities. Um, but you already might know what your ability is and guys, you have a an amazing ability to manifest anything that is linked to love so maybe you have manifested children in your life because you uh, gave birth to them but know that you can manifest anything linked to love and this card now fell out and I am going to take it even though I hadn't asked the question yet but here it says experiments um so I, I told you, you have the ability to make other people feel better when they're feeling low. You also might um, especially apply this ability to children or to animals even. And um, I was going to talk about these rain clouds here, these stormy clouds in the sky, uh, but I didn't. And now Spirit is saying, please talk about it. So here it actually says manipulation of nature and i will get my channel deleted i'll be cancelled forever if i talk about this but manipulation of nature is what's going on so if you have been feeling sick mentally emotionally physically it's because they're doing that and i can't say more um they're experimenting with mother nature and you are so connected to mother nature you are the representation of mother nature so if you've been suffering a lot it's because you are part of mother nature and um, other people see you as very uh, precious and they might also see you as someone who's quite vulnerable um, but know that that's not a weakness it just um, makes other people feel more maybe protective over you or like they have more sympathy with you okay wow yeah talking about that manipulation we have a military jet here military jet manipulation mother nature stormy weather hint 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 the people who are awake will get what i'm saying so what else makes you makes you so attractive also what makes you very attractive is that you are so uh, spiritual and that you are a truth seeker and that you seek wisdom spiritual wisdom that makes you very attractive to others what else please spirit what makes group number one so attractive wow yes oh my god i'm so happy um not taking this card it was stuck to that one this one was on top and it makes so much sense i told you um many of you watching will be mothers or like to human children <laughs> or you are a mother to um something creative that you gave birth to and manifested into this life but i'm seeing actual children here if you are wanting children know that you will have them if you truly connect to your inner Aphrodite goddess here and it says potential and strong creative energy and sacred energy and here um what's that in English um when you are 
like literally tra translated this is the ability to bear fruit so um, when you're very uh, much able to birth things um, you are very very loving and very very kind and you feel very um, motherly about people and things that you give birth to that you support and know that this energy that you radiate makes people around you feel so comfortable and i feel like also pets you are the divine mother guys you are the representation of the divine mother and really like live that energy to the fullest you make vulnerable people feel safe vulnerable entities you make them feel safe because you're so sweet and so loving and so gentle also see this moon here on her forehead which is third eye chakra energy uh, maybe that resonates with some of you here okay wow like <laughs> didn't expect for this to become so kind of gloomy but here it says the un invisible and um, many things stay hidden number four um this is kind of this energy here um, with this um, experiment cart here. So many things are going on which are actually visible to the people who are awake. But um, who and what's behind it is obviously invisible. But you are someone because you are so connected to the divine that you probably see through this. And know that this is something... That makes you very, very attractive, not just uh, romantically, but also, you know, you attract like minded spirits because you are awake and you know what's happening and um, know that spirit is telling you come out of your cave don't stay hidden in the shadows the world needs you the world needs protective emotional caring divine feminine energies more than ever because many people feel lost and scared and you should really step forward and bring healing to them in whatever way you think is necessary either by making your arts or by healing or by actually being a mother you might also, if you are um, in romantic relationships and interested in them, you might feel like you have to mother your partner. I know if that's the case, there's nothing wrong with it. That's just the role you play. You have to mother your partner. Um, which one is it? This one. Wow. Okay. I love this mermaid so much. Um, she's at the front of the deck, so... Um, this is a special seashell and uh, Kranichtasche. You can look this up and Google the translation Kranichtasche, but the seashell that she's holding, very special one, and actually uh, literally translated, uh, Tasche is bag um, or purse, and Kranich is um, a heron, so heron's bag maybe is that, uh, probably not what it's called in English, but... Um, here it says, sacred medicine of the ocean, create um, order where there is chaos, freedom of choice. So this is amazing. And I love that we have 35 here, which adds up to eight, which clearly refers to this card. So you are chosen in this lifetime to be this person, this motherly, protective, nurturing loving emotional sensual energy to protect others you are chosen but there is freedom of will if you say yes to your purpose or not is up to you but know that if you do say yes if you accept your purpose your life will get maybe not necessarily easier but you will understand why you went through certain things in the past and why you are here now where there is chaos Okay, um, you are a healer. And how do you heal? By giving motherly love. So this is so wonderful. And you are absolutely destined to be in this dark world right now. And know that you attract people, um, not just romantically with your, with your beauty and divine femininity, but you also attract vulnerable people who are in need of um, love and care. And if you say yes to this, I really hope you do when you're ready then um, you can do a lot of good in this world. And the world really, really, really needs people like you guys. So I'm going to continue with some more mermaid cards. Obviously, this is mermaid themed here. Um, 
If you enjoy my reading, don't forget to comment. Commenting helps. It helps other people like you find me and it helps me see that you enjoy my content. If you don't know what to say, drop a mermaid emoji, purple heart, anything helps. So, like, what should you do with your beauty? What makes you beautiful? Okay. Flow. Let your worries drift away. So you might be scared um, of saying yes to what your soul was chosen for. But, you know, don't be scared. Just go with the flow and live authentically. And you have, like, no choice pretty much than to say yes. Really, like, there is free will, but you are the way you are. You can't change. No one can change you. And that is good. And just be authentic. And by living authentically, you are saying yes to who you are. And um, don't don't worry about this darkness because you are the divine feminine. The darkness is scared of you. Like, this won't be a battle. Mothers don't fight battles. Mothers just nurture and love. So don't be afraid of the dark. <laughs> um. Listen. The secrets of the sea become apparent when we listen to the sound within the shells, guys. And this is talking about your calling. If you have been feeling lost and like your life has no purpose, listen, listen to your heart, listen to your soul, listen to the truth I'm giving you in this reading, okay? The the struggles you went through will become apparent. It will make sense if you truly listen and if you accept your purpose as a divine, feminine, protective, nurturing, caring energy, which is what makes you so attractive. And you will start to meet many new people you will attract many new people in your life who need someone like you. But you need to be aware and listen and ask spirit for guidance. Ambition. Set your sights beyond the horizon. And I love that this ambition card comes out right underneath the um, coming out of your cave card. So... Um, you could be someone who already is ambitious, but I feel like you're not so ambitious ambitious necessarily but spirit is saying time to be ambitious time to come out of your cave time to not hide yourselves anymore time to be who you truly are to follow your calling to be authentic and once you set your mind to living this motherly divine energy then um, you will attract even more people okay it would make you even more attractive if you were self-confident and ambitious Travel. Seeing the surface of the ocean is not the same as diving deep to this to see the coral. So ambition and travel. Listen, ambition, travel. Guys, um, you are supposed to come out of your cave. Um, the world needs you and know that if you travel, whatever that means, either like socialize more or actually travel, go on adventures or change your social environment, change your job, um, know that you are meant to do this this is not like disruptive chaos spirit is like pushing you to um change your environment to come out of your cave and your comfort zone um know that you will meet again many many people there who uh, need you and who uh, will automatically fight you because you are, attract them by being this divine feminine light Also, optimism, also like the corally colors like peachy, orangey, reddish tones might be your color at the moment to give you energy. And here it says optimism. After each rainstorm, there will be clear skies. That's the card here. So you are scared. You're holding back. Don't hold back. Be optimistic because people will love you. Once you love yourself and recognize who you really are, people will love you. Absolutely. And you will see the clear skies after the storm. Do not be intimidated. The world needs you. Okay. And um, maybe you already are a very optimistic person. If you already have like whacked on that and know that your optimism is something that gives other people hope and what makes other people find you so attractive and lovable 
Okay, guys, so that's all I have for you in this reading. I really hope you enjoyed it. If that's the case, then give it a thumbs up. Please comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on the bell for notifications so that you will never miss out on a new reading on my channel in the future. Take very good care and to soon, hopefully. Bye-bye. Welcome to your reading, everyone who resonated with group number two, which is card number seven, the Freedom Mermaid, and this wonderful cherry quartz heart. So as you can see from my intro, we will be finding out what makes you alluring and attractive to others, romantically, platonically, socially, okay? Um, but yeah, so... Obviously, here it says independence and self-confidence. So that's what you radiate. And this mermaid here, she looks pretty like a badass, which you might be. Maybe a bit tomboyish, but still being feminine, like something like Lara Croft comes to mind, you know, like a really fierce, strong woman who does not need a man in her life, but who kind of wants one if she chooses to. And know that people love that about you. You know, you are you're a boss, you are good on your own, and you are strong, okay? And um, you kind of maybe have the reputation to give men a hard time. Uh, you don't allow for them to talk down upon you or um, to kind of, you know, be a little bit condescending or, you know, how a toxic man can sometimes act, like you fight back, you fight back. You can be a little bit vicious, and I feel like for some of you, keep in mind, the reading is for the collective. Not everything will resonate here. Take what does, ignore what doesn't. It will be about for someone else. But it could be that you were hurt in the past. Either um, during childhood, your father or like your parents hurt you, someone else or your first true love really hurt you. And um, you became a little bit very protective over your heart, understandably. So um, you need to protect your own heart and you fight for your heart. Like you don't take any bad stuff and that is good. Um, just make sure for a small group among you that you don't come off as too defensive um, because that might chase people away. Um, let your guard down a little bit for some of you, okay? Um, not every um, situation is one where you are exposed and need to defend yourselves. But overall, for, for the majority, you're just cool with who you are, you know? Um, I love this energy. Yeah, she reminds me kind of of these, like, powerful women who are, like, warriors and who are good on their own. Uh, like Lara Croft or uh, Sina, warrior princess, like, you know, I love it. I love it for you. And you have a lot of power, passion and energy. You might be a fire sign or like a spicy water sign for some of you watching. And uh, yeah, you are, you are very uh, sexy to men. And you are um, very admirable to other women who are kind of weak, who wish they could be like you. Okay. So let's see what else we get with this gorgeous mermaid oracle card deck. If you two would like to send in some cards or crystals, I have an Amazon and an Etsy wish list link down below. If you find a beautiful mermaid tarot deck, let me know. I'm looking for a beautiful one. I've only found one, but it's not very, very nice. Looking for a nice one. So spirit, what else makes group number two attractive? Okay, wow. Um, so I'm not sure if these, like, because even in German, I'm not sure if this uh, jellyfish exists. It might, but it's all about the energy. So it says literally trans translated power jellyfish. You are so powerful, guys. You are so powerful. And uh, here it says a wave of power, energetic upheaval, exciting developments. So... You are so empowered and that's what other people love about you. You are self-confident. You know like who you are and what you're worthy of and what you deserve. And again, you feel so like you're free. Um, you're not submissive. 
you're not someone who backs down like you are loud and proud and um, yeah just so strong people love that about you and when others attack you like you don't let their opinion shake you you know mermaids don't worry about the opinion of shrimp that's literally what you radiate what else good Okay, uh, return of the Lem of Lemuria, um, earthly spirituality, community, and um, keeper of oceans. So you have this kind of tough facade, but on the inside, you're soft. <laughs> That's kind of what I was getting from you. Um, you had to be very strong and protective and kind of defensive. But um, once you allow someone into your heart... Um, you know, you are very, very gentle, very soft. When once someone truly gained your trust, you just, you're there for them. You're loyal, you're loving. You could be a mother or wishing to be one or, you know, you have this um, creative female energy that I was getting from group number one as well. Um, you are still very grounded and um your community like your close friends and your family know how much of a sweetheart you actually are you know that you're not this killer boss babe all the time you're also someone who's so gentle but you hide that facade you know you kind of hide that um you hide that facade you hide your um gentleness your sensitivity behind that tough facade kind of but um you're really both. So that mix is what makes you attractive. Wow. Yes. Endurance. Keep on going. So um, Spirit is saying, just keep on doing what you're doing. Like, don't um, change this facade that you have. The facade has a negative con connotation. But, you know, uh, for you, it's important. So keep it up. Um, just be tough on the outside, like don't overdo it, but uh, be gentle on the inside and um, know that you have other like-minded people like you and that you inspire people, okay? You inspire people, you help. I feel like other women find that very attractive about you, how you manage to kind of pick yourself up after some failure or after some trauma and how you're still strong, but at the same time, you haven't lost your ability to love and to be vulnerable and sensitive. So that's what makes you very attractive. And yeah, if you have children, especially girls, know that they look up to you and that you're a role model to them. You're very um, attractive in that sense. I love this card. It says, this is difficult to translate because it doesn't make that much sense in German either. So um flying through water maybe water flight but i get the energetic message so it says here um the weight lifts um a burden is being lifted and you are just um weightless okay weightless zero gravity um I feel like, again, what this means is that you have had it quite hard in your life, which is why you have become so tough. And people see that, but they're like, wow, she had to deal with so much, but she makes it look so easy. Like you make your battles look so easy. It doesn't mean that they are. And you know this truth deep in your heart, but know that um, other people admire you and you attract those other people for how easy you make everything look because you're so strong and again you inspire other people and you swim with the whales here so you're not afraid of anything you just kind of make everything look like effortless and beautiful so you're very very uh, very strong and inspiring guys i love that for you let's see what those beautiful mermaids mermaid cards say about you don't forget to comment, please. Take a second to comment and thumbs up this video. Drop me a purple heart or a mermaid emoji if you enjoy it. It really, really helps. Move, move, comment. <laughs> now it says here, barnacles only grow on a docked ship. Yeah, like you are not a docked ship. You, you move, you take action. You don't accept any 
any hardships. And that's what makes you so attractive. You're not passive. You're not passive aggressive, you're active aggressive. And people love that about you. That you take action, you know? You're someone also who lets actions follow after words. You're not, you know, you're very true. What else? And also you might be someone in romantic scenarios when, you know, there's a cute guy you like or a cute girl, whatever you're into. Like you, you make the first move or like you uh, chat them up. They find that super, super sexy about you. Stillness. In calm waters, everything becomes clear. So this refers to this card here. Even though you are so like powerful and out there and, um, you know, like offensive, aggressive in the best way possible, you still have that peace in your heart. You still have moments where you calm down and are just going with the flow. And that is a very rare combination and people love that about you. Wow. Dance. Maybe you love to dance. Okay. Yeah, that could be. Take inspiration from the moonlight dancing on the surface of the sea. So um, I feel like you could be someone who expresses um, their emotions through um, body movement. So that could be sports or dance. And now again, you inspire other people. You are that moonlight dancing on the surface to other people. So with the moves you make and kind of the beauty that you uh, put into um, your battle, you inspire others and you um, make them want to dance just like you. But yeah, I do see like more kind of, um, if you're looking for an activity, like rhythmic dancing, like kind of aerobics or um, yeah, music and workout dancing, breathe. Break free, no, break from beneath the water surface and soar up beyond the turquoise sea. Yes, you are someone like this mermaid. She's sitting by the beach and she just loves how the waves keep crashing against the rocks. Um, again, like, I don't feel like I need to tell you this um, because you are already someone who comes out from underneath from beyond beneath the surface you leave your cave um but if in case you've been holding back a little bit like show yourselves like don't be ashamed to be maybe tomboyish or to be you know kind of like giving guys a hard time don't be ashamed of it know that you are a role model to others and that you need to be seen i feel like you're already doing that and also guys birds could be a sign for some of you watching here the more you show yourselves, the more uh, people you will inspire and attract, guys. Voyage. Set sail on a new course. So there is definitely a message for you here um, where maybe recently you might have been a little bit too triggered by toxic people um, and maybe that this facade has come become a little bit too strong, like you, you feel like you need to hold back. The Spirit is saying don't hold back, don't be ashamed of who you are and um, sail on a new course. So if you've been feeling stuck in any... Um, kind of relationship, romantic, um, your family or your workplace, don't be afraid to tell that other person, hey, I'm not happy with this anymore. I want to explore new things or I deserve better. I'm going to leave. So know that you have this power. And if in case you're worried how other people might see that, they will accept it because you are so fierce, you're so strong and... Um, don't be afraid of hurting anyone's feelings because like you have that soft core to you to you like you will be able to bring it across in a way that they accept it and don't feel hurt but spirit's really inviting you to explore something new and you got this because you are so strong okay and that will also again inspire other people and you will meet more people who are attracted to you just because you are you you know for the way you are you're amazing, guys. And that's all I have for you.
Really hope you love this reading. If that's the case, then give it a thumbs up, please comment, subscribe if you haven't already, turn on the bell for notifications so that you will never miss out on a new reading on my channel in the future. Take very good care not to soon, hopefully. Bye. Hi everyone who resonated with group number three, which is card 17, Farewell to the Moon and this gorgeous um, blue gold stone. I really hope the camera shows it, but it's so sparkly. Reminds me of the night sky and the moon. So we will find out what makes you attractive and alluring to others, as you can see from the intro. Really hope you enjoyed seeing me as a mermaid. Let me know if you want to see more, as I love being a mermaid. Mermaids are so enchanting to me. And you kind of, you give up this siren energy as well. There is something very mysterious about you, um, which makes other people want to find out more about you, okay? Um, also, it says, um, value the moonlight. Enjoy the cycles. So again, you are very much into your divine feminine energy with, you know, how we are as women. We go through our cycles biologically and also emotionally. And as a soul, we go through cycles, you know, like this full moon here. Um, we go through deaths and rebirths and ups and downs. And um, you are so interesting to other people, especially to men like they they think you're so mysterious and alluring. You really attract them by being such a, um, I don't know, like mystic, mythical creature. You really radiate siren energy. And you might be someone who really loves the moon and the stars and the night sky and who loves the ocean. I believe that many of you are. You might have tattoos. Uh, for some of you watching, keep in mind the reading is for the collective. Not everything will resonate here. Take what does. Ignore what doesn't. It will be for someone else. Um, you also might love water in general or potions I'm getting. Um, but yeah, like know that when uh, especially um, the opposite sex or like if you're interested in the same sex, like your um, romantic interest, when they see you and don't even know you, when when they um, see you out and about, they like stand and stare and they feel like, wow, who is this? Who Who is she? Um, I want to get to know her. Or who is he? Like you might be a man watching this. Um, I don't know. If you are just, uh, you know, Know that this is all about your divine feminine energies. Number 17 is, by the way, also the star card. You make people not just so curious about you, but they they really want to get to the bottom of who you really are. And they want to be with you in the long term. And you trigger something within them. You trigger something within them that makes them want to find not just out about you, but about themselves. And... Um, you um, inspire them to kind of invest in your relationship and to um, stay together for a long time and uh, you give them hope and you make them dream about their future again like dreams you're dreamy you could be very dreamy in the best way possible so I love these energies like you're so mysterious and uh, secretive and um, truly alluring other people let's see what else i get from these lovely mermaid oracle cards if you two would like to send in some cards or crystals i have an amazon and an etsy wishlist link down below um also i'm getting um if you are into crystals opalite and um fluorite and lapis lazuli might be your your crystals oh my god divine sensuality um the act of love erotic okay wow yeah so when others who you know who would be an emotion uh, a romantic interest see you they think you are so sensual you are so seductive like you are very seductive um 
as I've been saying, like they see you out and about and they stop and stare and think like, wow, she is so, so alluring. Like you are literally the alluring siren here. And um, you trigger like these um, biological instincts within themselves to kind of uh, make love and want to get intimate. Like they want to get intimate with you, not just physically, but also kind of emotionally. So, wow, you are so seductive. To other people this is clearly this reading is clearly about romantic uh, things if that's not what you're looking for maybe choose a different pile but this is very romantic here uh, this is not so much about uh, friendships or um, you know professional uh, relationships this is about romantic things oh wow the gift she's so sexy too um okay so the gift treasure um, um exposing your true value live in the here and now so um i feel like you are someone who just um wears their heart on their sleeve and when you feel love and when you feel attracted to someone you just go with the flow like you don't hold back um you live in the here and now you like take the moment and um you see every moment like as a gift and especially like romantic relationships you see when you meet a new person that you really love you see that as a gift and as an opportunity and you just go for it but you are so you're so sensual about it um people just love that about you and again like they find you so fascinating and alluring and i really get that some of you you might have a very specific tattoo on your body which could also attract other people or your tattoos in general also maybe the way you dress or your hair your makeup um, it could be that you guys really express um, your sensuality through um, you know aesthetics like the way you dress and um, the way you show yourself to uh, others and know that people recognize that about you and it really like number 12 makes them stop and stare makes people stop and stare and you are um someone who is really like you are born for love at first sight like this will have happened to you before and if it hasn't like it it should have like love at first sight for you and the person wow of interest and here we have the typical um siren sailor thing going on here um, it says soul cage, um, salvation, um, freeing yourself from um, prison and limitations. This is a weird, like, like often I don't resonate with the words that are on the cards, but number 24 adds up to six. So this is lover's energy. And it could be that you are someone who because you're so enchanting and um, sensual and mysterious, you pull people out of their depression, like you save them. When they see you, they are so fascinated about you that they don't see their worries anymore. Um, you help them get out of a rut they are stuck in. You just, you save them as a mermaid can also sometimes save a sailor from drowning. They don't always make them drown. They sometimes are nice mermaids and save them. Um, yeah, I feel like if you haven't already met this person, you will meet a person soon who, um, you will save them. You will save them from drowning in their dark emotions. And this is clearly soulmate energy. And you will attract this person effortlessly just by being you. But you need to show yourself to the world. They will see you and be like, wow, she is so interesting. Oh, my God. And this card fell out without me asking for it. Look at these cards. Number 40. And it says, um, Falang is a craving. Craving. Um craving someone um unwanted separation again craving a partner so it could be that you are super craving a partner and if you are single at the moment know that you will find this person but in divine timing you will absolutely find them if you're craving them you will find them and if, if it hasn't happened um you know, it's because divine timing is at play, but you you will receive them. 
and know that um, in your case, I know this is rare and kind of goes against the law of attraction, but since you are craving a partner so much, the universe will give you that partner and know that this partner again will be someone that you might have to save from drowning. So they might be someone who has some mental health issues or who's really affected by what's been going on globally. Um, so it might be a little bit of a challenging relationship in that sense, but they will be so thankful for you and know that they are coming. Know that they will find you. You just make sure you stay sensual, seductive and mysterious. I love this for you guys. This is so wonderful. And if you are already in a relationship, know that you represent this to your um, current partner. Now, some more oracle cards and more mermaid oracle cards. I'm obsessed with mermaids. If you enjoy this reading, if you love mermaids too, then please comment. Any comment helps. If you don't know what to say, drop me a purple heart, mermaid emoji, anything. Please do that for me and thumbs up this video so that I know that you want to see more content like this. Well, move again, move. Barnacles only grow on dog chips. Um, I had this card in pile number two. Uh, maybe you felt drawn to pile number two. Uh, if you did, then watch it. But um, move, I feel like this is spirit saying... This guy will make a move and come into your life. I don't feel like that is you. Like, you don't need to make a move. You just stay the way you are. Like, what's moving your way then? Yeah, I see this anchor here. Like, you just you just do you, okay? I see this anchor. You do you. The person will find you. Um, and many men might, or women, might make moves on you. Okay, you're someone who, you know, gets a lot of attention. But yeah, you are waiting for the one. Safety. Don't be too proud to go back to shore. So know that if you are single or um, in whatever situation you are in, it's to keep you safe. And because divine timing is at play. Um, yeah, like if you haven't found the right one yet, if you're not fulfilled in your current relationship, it's for a reason. It's to keep you safe. And there will soon be a um, divine move that's made to um, bring you out of the loneliness and the craving. Like, spirit, what will um, group number three experience? What shift is coming? What shift is coming for group number three, please? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> So this one, take the helm, take the helm, be in control of your own ship. All right, so um, know that you are the creator of your own reality and manifestation and law of attraction does work. I told you um, that here you just keep on craving because this person will find you the more that you're craving them. Um, and you are the captain. You're not just the mermaid. You are the captain. And this is also something that makes you very attractive is that you are in charge and you are controlling, not in a toxic way, but you are in charge. You're a mermaid and a captain. And if you haven't found a person who makes you feel that way, they are not meant for you. But the person who does, they will soon find you. So you are... You are a boss, mermaid. Okay, reflect. There it is. Reflect, peer into the endless ocean and see what peers back, okay? So definitely uh, the ocean is full of fish. If the person you're with is not good for you, you should leave them and the ocean will send you that perfect fish, that perfect sailor. Um, so if you are single or in a relationship that doesn't make you happy, Spirit is saying, please reflect. Do they make you feel appreciated? Do they make you feel like you're this alluring siren who's also like the captain of the ship in the relationship? If the answer is no, or if you have been receiving many offers and um, none of these offers make you feel that way, then it's time to move on and to attract your divine counterpart. I know that that makes you also very attractive if you say no. Saying no can be attractive because that means you know what you want. 
dance again this card showed up in group number two so if you felt drawn to it watch it um, take inspiration from the moonlight dancing on the surface of the sea so spirit is saying um don't take anything so seriously what's meant to find you and who's meant to find you will find you and if you, especially if you have that attitude again that will help you attract this awesome person or make the bond with the awesome person that you might already have a lot stronger but dancing is again very very sensual so it could be that the way your body moves um, really really makes the, your sailors go crazy so yeah guys you are the siren i love that about you and that's all i have for you in this reading i hope you loved it as much as i did if that's the case then give it a thumbs up please comment subscribe if you haven't already turn on the bell for notifications so that you will never miss out on a new reading on my channel in the future take very good care and until soon bye